Helena Phoenix here, reporting to you live from my little lair. Just want to uh, turn the video on and talk. Just have a stream of consciousness about life and the twists and turns and the plot twists that life brings. So, you know, I love people. I love people. Um, but I love, I also love, love being alone sometimes. In my own space, in my own headspace. And really enjoying my own company. Have you ever been through those times or lived in a way where you just couldn't be alone? You always need some distraction or people around you or... I used to have that. I don't have that anymore. I really preserve my energy for um, people I really enjoy being around. And there's... Um, there's quite a few actually. You know, I was talking to a girlfriend the other day and we were talking about how we keep each other's cups full and it was, it was quite an interesting statement actually because as far as relationships, human relationships go, whatever type of relationship it is, it's really what it's all about. It's about keeping each other's cups full. Um, you know, we talk about energy vampires and essentially that's people draining your cup and being able to recognise when people are draining your cup is really fundamental in avoiding toxic entanglements with people. I mean, you could figure it out on the second, third meeting, meeting someone, anyone. Are they keeping your cup full? <laughs> do you have the ability to keep someone else's cup full? You probably do. You listen to my stuff and you know where I'm coming from. You probably got that in you. You're probably frustrated your whole life that you, you're always keeping people's cups full and no one's keeping yours full. And I can tell you, having uh, a level of awareness of these things really just helps open up doors to pass a reality you didn't think existed. And I talk about consciousness and being conscious and all that, and I really try to avoid the slippery slope of spiritual diatribe. Uh, but some things are true, and being conscious. <laughs> is um it's really important being aware aware of your own bullshit being able to say bullshit in others um <clears throat> really judging situations too with 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 relationships including friendships is um the good outweighing the bad because none of us are perfect and also just facing reality of situations instead of um cognitive bias and delusional thinking and seeing what you want to see and, and um, believing what you want to believe because I think there is such a thing as the truth and um, you know, another thing I was thinking of with, with relationships in all forms is it's a ship it's how we relate on the ship so we're on a ship and if people are putting, if the, the ship's got holes in it and one of them, one of us is putting water in the ship and the other one's desperately trying to get the water out of the ship is exhausting. Sometimes there's some holes. But if everyone's taking water out of the ship, you've got a chance to patch up the holes and smooth sailing. And even just the word relationship, you know, so much to do with admir admiralty law, our language, this English language, and understanding uh, the true nature of reality and how we, as humans, how we work. 
it's it's so simple i mean i flow now so well with a what we call, would call a tribe of like-minded souls that i've encountered that i've found and they've found me just relating to these beautiful humans is so easy it's easy and it's fun and it's filled with trust and it's safe it doesn't require overthinking or analysis because your gut isn't ringing any bells those bells aren't going off inside you once you hit that level of relating to people <clears throat> and being able to be in that space with people you know you're there you made it a lot of people don't make it um the loneliness the the mental health problems we have that society has it really is a return to self a return home to self and the self is once you clear that up you clear that fog programs <laughs> you enter a place which is um i personally think is a really beautiful place well <laughs> well do we run a lot of programs and in some previous videos i was making some drawing some conclusions and connecting dots about a couple of movies how the in movies they put um, the allegory of human psychology, even ev evolutionary psychology in movies. And we, we can look at the surface of, of movies, which generally that's what they're there for, for entertainment, good on the eyes, the ears sort of covers the senses in that, in that way. Um, but movies really contain so much subtext and depth and it just shocks me how they know this stuff. Like, how how do, how do they know? Um, even in uh, the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which uh, I hadn't watched for a long time and I watched recently. And, again, the allegory of they enter the relationship. Again, the relationship, relate ship. They're both very powerful masculine and feminine both the divine masculine divine feminine absolutely don't trust each other they're both spies they're both on a mission to to find their target and destroy the target and then they realize what they were hired for was to find each other and destroy each other each other was the target they only found that at the end but in between all that minutia they didn't trust each other <laughs> And then they realised, they were warned, they were warned when they were told, I'm not the target, when that boy said, I'm not the target, both of you are, you were sent to each other to destroy each other. And when they both realised that they were up against something way bigger than what they were doing to each other, they fought together. Once they fought together, all, all the... All the um, the agents were coming for them and this stuff's deep <laughs> it's the same it's the same subtext as the matrix it's um it, it's almost like they use the same formula saying the same thing in different different ways and people overlook it it's all there it's all there and i kind of i was kind of over movies for a long time and I didn't watch movies and I didn't like what I was you know just I just was over it and I used to love movies and now I'm just looking at movies with a, with different eyes as to well they know so much <laughs> about the mind and uh running the program running the programs so the point of this video is a few things. If you're in a relationship, whether it's with your child, your spouse, your mother, your father, your sister, doesn't matter. It's a ship. 
There's holes that are fix them. If there's water in it, don't keep putting water in it while someone else is trying to take the water out. Or you're both, or you're all sitting in it, not taking any water out. It's a sinking ship. So do some thinking, spend some time alone, do some self care. Use your brain, use it or lose it. Use your heart, use that or lose that too. Anyway, thanks for listening. Rise above.